here with Dave Recklington after the Lincoln City victory. How do you feel the boys did? Yeah, first half, um, obviously very dominant, which we expected with them being such a young side. Um, really good exercise for us because we haven't really done loads of shape um, and it was a more realistic um, shape exercise for us. A little bit of pattern in there as well, just getting used to our combinations and you know getting used to having a good touch and passing range um, from distance and shorten the play as well, which was really pleasing. Um, thought we had some really good one and two touch moves. We asked them to play two, two touch today. Um, and obviously um, when teams sit off you, you get naturally a lot of ball. Um, and obviously that's what Lincoln City did, they just sat off. Uh, that was play and that can be a little bit diff difficult at times. But no, I was really impressed for us for 60 minutes, 65 minutes. And then just unfortunately when Chris Sol went off, um, we used all our subs apart from Charlie the keeper. So we played the last half an hour with um, 10 men. And uh, we got a little bit sloppy for five minutes, which um, obviously they scored, but you know finished the game really well again with ten men. Um, so yeah, could have been a, a lot higher scoreline, but um, in terms of the workout, is really good and, and credit to Lincoln City. Um, you know, Damo's brought a really young side here today, and I thought they were their commitment was brilliant and never shirked out of any challenges. Um, I thought they were old head on young shoulders um, for the majority, and you know credit must go to, to them young boys for turning up. On a difficult day for him, really, and uh, show some great attitude and, and a little bit of quality in, in, in areas. So, yeah, credit to him. Definitely, the way we sort of played the ball around did look to sort of be developing partnerships, which is what we've been looking for in pre season early on. Do you really see anyone stand out? Any partnerships stand out performances that you really think, want to build on? I don't up? really look at standouts, I just look at us as, as a team um, and see if we're gelling. Obviously, you can see um, you know, Shane and Jono in there did really well today in the centre of the park. Um, they played together before here, so that obviously helps. You know, Jacken and Gatter obviously was um, at centre half, um, but it, they didn't have a lot of defending to do today, did they? Really? So it was no, but it's almost like concentration, isn't it? Which is maybe why it's disappointing. But we didn't get the clean sheet. But it's a sloppy goal. It's a, it's a, it's a set piece. And that's you know, something that we need to look at really in terms of goals against you know but we've got you know we had about six seven changes at that time and it can disrupt you uh, but in terms of your, your, your initial question was um, delighted in terms of the way we're gelling um, like you said today we stretched the pitch uh, we didn't turn ball over um, only in little tiny spells where we tried to take an extra touch um, and hence why we try and play two touch so no it was a, it was a real good exercise for us and uh, we saw some real quality out there today and um, probably if I had to take a pick uh, probably Alex Simmons Again, looked a real threat. It was a great finish with his right foot. Um, so, yeah, we're delighted with that. I didn't think he had a right foot, but after that goal today, yes. And he played in several different positions throughout the game. Obviously, going down to 10 kind of helped him to sort of explore different positions. But, yeah. It's rare. Sorry. Yeah, no, it's, um, it's what you want. We asked Jordan Richards to play today um, as, a, as a right back. Obviously, Josh Lacey was injured. We had no Nathan Stainfield. Um, so, obviously, Nathan Jarman. Um, so they're three key players for us this year and they didn't, they didn't feature today. Um, so yeah, it was important that we've got that flexibility within the group. Uh, and you can tell by the performances today where we can, we can rely on other players to fill in at certain slots when, when needed. So yeah, really pleased with that aspect of it. Jordan did look to acquit himself really well and he's a new signing. Yeah, yeah, delighted to get him done from, uh, from Notts County. Um, real, real prospect. Um, got everything in his locker to be a real, real talent. And we've had to fight off numerous clubs, you know, we've had inquiries already about him uh, from league clubs to, to go on trial. So it was important we got that done and you know I want to thank the chairman and the board for getting that, that over the line so quickly. Um, because you can see already that he's a, he's gonna be a real big player for us this season. And, uh, he's got all the strings to his bow but you know we see him as a centre midfield player. Aggressive, you know, quick, um, can see a pass and put a foot in as well so he's got all the attributes there. And, uh, but no, I was delighted, you know, you look at um, Tom Davies' first perform uh, first game today at left back. Um, thought he was a real strong performance today. Um, so yeah, some real key performances. Brilliant. And just looking forward now, obviously Rotherham next on Tuesday night. Yeah. A family member coming to visit the Martin and Co. Yeah, I hope so. I hope he's playing. Um, you know, obviously I played with him uh, when he was first coming through the ranks at Lincoln City at Stamford. We had three months together and it was, it was an excellent three months. Uh, I've gone on to have a real good career. Um, so it'd be nice to uh, hit my wits against Rotherham on Tuesday. And that will obviously give us a total different test and that's no disrespect to, to the youth team here at Lincoln City. But we, we got a different uh, test today which was pleasing. So it, it wasn't a, it was a real worthwhile ex exercise. But Tuesday it'll probably be 
roles reversed in terms of you know possession and we can shape up a little bit differently because we know it's going to be a tough league this year again and um, there'll be teams like you know your Yorks and Stockports and all those Kidderminsters who will probably dominate possession and look to try and move you about in certain ways and uh, you know Rotherham will give us that test um, so yeah really looking forward to the game. Brilliant well congratulations on today. Thank you. And see you on Tuesday. Cheers. Thanks Rob. Cheers, Cheers mate. Thanks guys.